Hey everyone, it's Laura here from makingcardsisome.com and I'm here with another Saturday stamp day carding video. In today's video, I'm using some brand new stamps from a brand new company called LSPH Design and um, Els is a fellow uh, Belgian crafter and she released four new stamp sets. So she, um, she has her own company and she designs her own stamps. Um, I really like these stamps because they have some really adorable images, but they also include some Dutch sentiments. And usually these Dutch sentiments are like in a really boring font. And these stamps have like this really beautiful and whimsical font that I just really love. So I just had to use it in a video. I know that most of my YouTube subscribers or my blog viewers are English. Um, so I will translate the greeting that I'm going to use on this card. But I decided to show it to all of you because these images could be used by anybody. And I also have some Belgian or some, some Dutch um, viewers and subscribers. So I knew that they would like this as well. So let's get started with my project. I am using one of the stamp sets um, called Welcome Baby. And that's how you pronounce Welcome Baby in Dutch. So in this video, we're going to be learning a little bit of Dutch. So um, anyway, I am going to use the baby greeting and I'm going to stamp that greeting onto some pool cardstock using Lake Shores ink from Simon Says Stamp. And this will give me some really nice tone on tone um, effect, a really nice tone on tone effect I mean. And um, you could use any cardstock in any ink, but you will just have to make sure that the ink is kind of similar to the cardstock you're going to use. And then you will end up with a really nice looking tone on tone look. So I'm just going to continue stamping the baby greeting. I have some uh, scrap paper underneath my pool cardstock just to protect my work surface from all of that ink. And then I'm going to move on to the sequin shaker part. I know that you're loving my sequin shakers and I'm really happy you do because I just can't seem to get enough of sequin shakers. And ever since I got the fuse tool, I'm even more addicted to sequin shakers because it just makes it all very easy. So I die cut the circle and then I'm going to stamp the penguin from that stamp set onto some Simon's Stamp white cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I stamp that twice because sometimes I mess up my images and then I have to stamp them again. So that's why I decided to stamp it twice already. So I'm going to do some really basic Copic coloring. I used the NO marker first and then I'm using the N2 marker to add some shading. This is the darkest color that I'm going to use. So I'm just adding it here and there to create some shading. Then I'm going to blend that together using the N1 marker. I'm just working my way upwards and downwards just to blend that all together nicely. Um, I, I went in with the N2 marker again just to darken up those shadows a little bit more just to it intensify that a little bit. And then I'm going to add some shading um, using an N O marker and I'm adding some little dots and then I went in with the colorless blender just to blend that out a little bit because I just wanted that to be really light and I didn't want that to be like really in your face or anything. Then for the penguin's head I am going to use an N2 marker first to add my lightest color and then I'm going in with the N4 marker this is my darkest color and I'm going to add that for some shading. Then I'm going to blend that with the N3 marker and then I went back in with the um, N4 marker to add some more shading. <clears throat> I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird from time to time uh, in this video because I have a cold and my throat is a little bit sore. So if I sound a little bit differently, then you know why. So I'm going to color the penguin's nose and feet using uh, Y13 and Y18. And then I'm going to um, create my sequin shaker using the Fuse tool by We Are Memory Keepers. I am using some We Are Memory Keepers photo sleeves. Um, you can also use some Avery L stamp pockets, but I like to use these We Are Memory Keepers pockets. So I let my Fuse tool heat up for about 10 minutes or so. And then I'm going to create the fused lines using the ruler and the tool. 
I'm going to press my fuse tool quite firmly and I'm also going slowly to make sure that my pocket is sealed nicely and firmly as well. <clears throat> so then I am going to, um, I left the top flap open because I still needed to fill up my shaker. And, uh, but first I used my fuse tool again because I forgot a little piece. So it had to be closed completely, otherwise your sequence will start to fall out. And I also wanted to mention that I am using some uh, cardboard underneath my plastic pocket just to protect my work surface. So I filled up my shaker using the Laura's Dreamy Blue uh, sequin mix from the Tom. This is the sequin mix that I put together for the Tom. And I'm going to close my sequin shaker using the fuse tool as well. And then I'm going to cut that piece out using my EK Success Color B scissors so that piece is a little bit smaller and that way I can also adhere it behind the circle piece. So I'm just putting some adhesive on the back of that cardstock using my ATG and then I'm going to position that sequin shaker uh, part over there. I didn't capture that on camera because my hat my head was in the way so you couldn't really see what I was doing um, but I just positioned it on there and then I'm also going to adhere a piece of white cardstock behind that uh, shaker piece just so it's nice and uh, just to have a wide um, background and that way I'm also sure that the sequence won't fall out because it's just one nice layer. So I cut out the penguin and I'm going to adhere that or I adhere that I mean using some foam adhesive and I also gave that little penguin a little bit of glossy accents. I'm going to stamp a greeting and this greeting means congrats on your little uh, miracle in English and in Dutch we would pronounce it as gefeliciteerd met jullie kleine wonder um, so yeah <laughs> isn't that nice in this video we're really going to be learning some uh, Dutch um, so I um, sorry that was my cell phone I am just sprinkling on some white embossing powder on there by WOW and I'm going to heat set that powder using my heat tool and then I'm just adhering my uh, finished baby piece onto some wood grain cardstock using my ATG. This is some wood grain cardstock by um, Simon's Stamp but Ellen Hudson has the same cardstock so I'm also linking to that. I cut that piece a little bit smaller and I put some adhesive on there on the back. I used my Tombow adhesive roller and this adhesive doesn't show through the vellum so you can use that to adhere your vellum pieces. I also use a little bit of glossy accents just to make sure that that greeting is really adhered uh, on that card and that it won't fall off or anything. Then I'm finishing off my card using some glass slippers sequins from the ton and I'm adhering those using my EK Success tweezers and some glossy accents. So that finishes up my card for this week's Saturday STEM Day carding video. Be sure to check out lsbg.com for um, more information on these stamps in case you're interested. And you can also use the coupon code LOUNGE for 15% off your order. So have fun shopping and I'll be back very soon. Bye bye!